If the future is to be primarily local-based, a, a primarily local-based economy, what will happen to our global economy? Will the systems we've created simply vanish? Will this be a drawn-out thing or a massive crash? Well, I fear that the simple the system we've created is going to vanish and it will be a massive crash because we will not have prepared. We will not have done anything to, uh, to prepare for the end of the age of oil uh, when it comes and it's coming very fast. Do plug-in vehicles produce as much pollution as gasoline? No, plug-in vehicles do not produce as much pollution as gasoline, although they do use electricity which has to be generated somewhere and often by fossil fuel plants. So if they use electricity that's generated by fossil fuels, then there's no, no advantage. But if they use electricity that's generated by solar power, by, by uh, solar uh, conversion, then there's a real advantage to using uh, plug-in vehicles. I recently heard that a ge genetic scientists say that life is now being created from scratch. Whole new species are being created due to the advan advances in genetics. It was stated that in the, in the works is a new organism capable of eating coal or other fossil fuels and excreting liquid fuel. Should we be very, very afraid? Should we be very afraid? Well, I don't think we should be very afraid, but I do think we should be very skeptical. Um, all of these things, and many suggestions will be passed around tonight and uh, come up in, in, in the course of, uh, of events. Uh, all of these suggestions have to be tried out because we have to see what the upside is, what the downside is, uh, whether uh, it can be sustained uh, and made a worldwide uh, thing. So uh, that's, that's the answer to the question. Mike Rupert said, until you change the way money works, you change nothing. I truly believe this. What are your thoughts on how how to change the way money works. What are your thoughts on how to change mo the way money works? I have no thoughts on how to change the way money works. <laughs> this one says, why the end of civilization? Why not a different civilization? Well, we will have a different civilization, to be sure. Uh, one with more, far fewer people than we have now, uh, and one that runs perhaps locally, as, as Aaron suggested, uh, that would be very nice. Uh, but getting there, getting there from here is going to be very, very difficult. Please comment on the fact that eight new coal plants are being planned in Michigan. The eight coal plants will contribute to global warming, and that's very bad. Uh, if they involve sequestering the carbon dioxide and burying it somewhere, they may not contribute to global warming, but I haven't heard that. Um, and so eight new coal plants are a very bad thing. You said that natural gas was 10 years behind the Hubbard's peak. Can you elaborate on, can you elaborate as to when the peak will occur for natural gas in the US and in the world? I think there's evidence that the peak has already occurred in the United States. Uh, in the world, it's hard to say, but with, uh, India and China coming online as car driving nations, uh, fossil fuels will run out uh, very soon. That's all I can say. At what price per barrel do you think that the world economy will collapse? I don't know. I can't say what price per barrel the world economy will collapse. We saw a projection that it will go to $1,000 a barrel very soon. It's 42. Uh, gallons of gasoline in a, in a barrel of oil. So that's $50 uh, a gallon just for the cost of the, of the oil, uh, not counting labor and all of the other things that go into the price of, of gasoline at the pump. So uh, we have already seen some dramatic effects of the increasing price of oil uh, just as it's gone up to $4 a gallon. And $4 a gallon is less now than, than it's cost in Europe for many years. So. Uh, uh, I, I don't know when civilization will come to an end, but uh, it might. What moral obligation do we have to the world's poor in, it, in our attempts to solve the energy problem? Well, we certainly have a moral obligation 
to try to solve the energy problem. Uh, I don't know how we're going to solve the energy problem. I don't see any solution to the energy problem, but we have a moral obligation to the world's poor, to the world's rich, to everybody to solve that problem. What would be the impact of reducing energy consumption by half over the next 10 years? If you reduce energy consumption by half over the next 10 years, you will stretch out the crisis. The crisis will come later, but it will still come because uh, we've, we're using fossil fuel much faster than it's being created, and the amount in the ground is finite. You may have com commented a little bit on this, but is clean coal really possible? I don't know whether clean coal is really possible. When they talk about clean coal, they usually mean coal that's been that's been relieved of its arsenic and, uh, and sulfur and so on, but not uh, sequestering the carbon dioxide that comes out. So uh, that's a pollutant as well. That was formally declared to be a pollutant uh, just recently, and uh, it is fouling our atmosphere. Uh, there are plans to sequester carbon dioxide and put it in the bottom of the ocean in various other places. Uh, all of them are questionable and may or may not work. And this was the, the other part of the question. Is abiotic coal a reality? In, in parentheses, there's a deep drilling by Russia. The, there's a, a, a theory by Tommy Gold, uh, a scientist at Cornell University, that oil and coal are abiotic. That is to say, they're, they're not of biological origin. Uh, that's been pretty much pretty thoroughly disproved by events. And the instrumentation today is good enough to be able to tell which kind of a fossil created each deposit of oil. So I don't think that it's, it's uh, very realistic. From soil to plate, I've heard that it takes 10 calories of oil to produce a one calorie of food in the US. And I guess they just want you to comment on that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've heard the same statistic, and I, <clears throat> I, I find it dismaying, but there's nothing much more to say about it. As oil becomes more scarce, at what point will its value as an industrial feedstock make its use for fuel uneconomical? Well, I don't know at what point its, it's use for fuel will become uneconomical, but it's going to become more and more expensive as time goes on. Okay, that seems like all the time we have for questions. Thank you.